Hey everybody out there on the internet. Long time no see. Not that anyone's really following or anything. I know it's oh, been a while since I've actually posted anything. So here's some tricks to some segments that I haven't published yet. Roll it. I've done relatively nothing since then, uh, but I can assure you something important is coming uh, very soon that I want you all to be on the lookout for. Uh, hopefully, uh, provided things go well, it will be out this month. Uh, however, if it is not, um, it's my fault, clearly, and uh, it will be coming out sooner rather than later. Eventually. Anyway, uh, I know this unboxing thing never gets old for people, so uh, I got something in the mail from USD, and uh, I figured I might as well unbox it, because that's what all the kids like uh, for all of you right now. So, let's uh, start ripping this sucker open. Uh, and if you've uh, known me for any length of time, you probably have a guess of what this is. Um, it shouldn't, shouldn't require any heavy mental lifting on your part. Uh, if you've followed me for even 10 seconds, you've probably figured out what on earth this might possibly be. Um, And, uh, come on, let's get this thing open. I hope I don't have this uh, upside down. I think I do, but I don't really care, um, because I just operate that way. Yeah, I think I have it upside down. And I'm glad you don't have to see my head and face right now. So, uh, let's see. Cool, I guess. Can you open? Really now? I don't know how I feel about that. So, obviously this came from Roller Warehouse. Uh, so that's another shirt uh, that I probably won't wear. Um, invoice stuff. Okay, whatever. Uh, here we go. Ah, wax. I can never get enough of Roller Warehouse wax. That is one thing. I appreciate this more than the shirt, uh, to be honest. So, what did I get? Ta-da! It, what is this? Oh! Oh, please tell me it's the good one um, that they use instead of that cruddy... I'm more excited about the, the wrench than I am the skates right now, clearly. Um, is it? Oh, it's the cruddy one. Oh, well. Allen wrench sucks, but whatever. So, this is what I got. This is the 25th anniversary Dustin Latimer skates. Uh... But before I start talking about this, I feel the need to talk about the box. Because this is the stuff the kids like, apparently. I'm a little sore that this is all I'm getting. Um, like, the box is supposed to be all black, and I'm, 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 oh, okay, so it's, what? What do they do? So... The 
why? I wanted this. I wanted to keep it in the nice box, and you did this to me. I'm... I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Because I kind of wanted to keep it in that, that box, because I saw I saw what the box was going to look like, and I was pretty excited about it. Because I, uh, somebody months ago, if I remember right, uh, posted, yeah, somebody, don't know who the dude was, but he got this, got this, um, this skate. I'll just put the stuff up here. I'm not editing any of this. I don't really care right now. Um, got this skate uh, like like a month or two in advance or something like that, and like the box design uh, looks really nice. And considering that the current place that I work teaches stuff like that, like you know making the box and how it's gonna look and all that, like I've now become. Uh, not a fan, but I, I'm more appreciative of box design, and you done me dirty, Roller Warehouse. Um, so anywho, this is the 25th anniversary of the Dustin Latimer Shadow. Um, it is uh, something that I wanted. Uh, and they tried to recreate the um, the original uh, as best as possible. I mean that that would be kind of tough, uh, considering that the Shadow brand frames are no longer a thing. So uh, Kaiser did their best to recreate uh, the Shadow Mook frame. Uh, hopefully, it does well. Uh, and you have uh, all white uh, Latimer, well, team USD team wheels uh, with the old uh, uh, the old logo on them. You can't really see them from here, uh, but they're blank. But they're 58 millimeter 90 A's. 58 is my size. 95 is my durometer. So these are a little bit softer. Uh, than I, I want, but that's fine. Uh, th the funny thing about this skate, um, this is, like, they're trying to do a tribute, and I guess you could say, yes, it's the silver anniversary, um, but... <sighs> I really don't want to say I'm disappointed, but just looking at this, I can already see there might be issues. So, let's just open the thing up. Um... So, they've gone back to the shoe. Oh, that's... Thank you. This was something that I was going to be concerned about. Uh, the newer... Um, uh, straps. The newer straps include this this rivet. Uh, not rivet, but ratchets. The way of ratcheting. This has been wonderful. I am so glad they got rid of the old style and moved to this. Because this is a million times better this has less of a tendency to break uh, and so I'm, I'm thankful for that so that's one good thing that they've done um, so they anyway have gone back to the uh, original strap setup which is you know both ends and uh, so it's uh, adjustable that way although I am a fan I will I will forever be thankful to Eugen for doing the big fat mono strap, that to me has been a game changer. That should have been a thing forever ago. I can't believe it took them this long to figure that out. So they've gone back, uh, and I, if I remember right, Matthias had said that they had to go and find like the the molds for the foot wraps because um, this is what it comes with. It's not the boot that I despise. They go back to... It's almost like I'm a negative person. <laughs> like, everything I'm saying just sounds awful. I don't really care. Um, so this is the original kind of foot wrap deal that they did, although this is a variation of it. 
Um, I still have my original uh, Dustin Latimer foot wraps, and they do kind of look like this, but this is a lot beefier. Uh, and there's some USD logos on it, because they don't want you to forget who owns Shadow now. It's no longer Solomon, it's them, and it's definitely for the better. Uh, I, ha I like the, the fact that there's actual tread on the bottom of this, unlike the original. Uh, I mean, it feels good and sturdy. Uh, feels okay inside. Uh, mm, that's that's going to take some time to break in, uh, but that that's nice. I am I am glad for that. And it yeah, they did recreate it to be like uh, the original uh, the original foot wraps that were in the the DL ones when they came out back in. Uh, back then so ooh, even okay so they silk screened the um, the name on here because that's that's a little bit raised that's nice I guess um, so it's a, it's a nice sturdy shoe foot wrap um, a lot beefier than what they gave you for the original but uh, looking into the actual skate itself um, Okay, they did a rivet on the frame. Thank you. Uh, that's always a problem with the uh, original, or even the current stuff. I hate that this thing slips around, and uh, they fixed that for this particular skate. Uh, they Because they are giving you the foot wrap, they've brought back the shock absorber. Uh, not that you can actually see it, but that shock absorber is back. Uh, and you know, since I since I basically ride my current Enins uh, with my I, I still have the Chris Farmer One uh, <laughs> foot wraps. They are destroyed. Um, they are also old enough to vote, but I still ride them. Um, now there's no heel on them anymore, and the insides are you know mauled beyond all belief. But I still ride them. Um, but because of that, um, I had to modify mine to have that shock absorber and this part, the, the side cushions, um, to be included. Uh, so, yes, we still have the original uh, cuff, which I'm sure they beefed up to what they do now with those. Which, again, I am so thankful for Eugen for fixing those are always a problem. I mean, I've only ever snapped one of these in my life, but uh, now that it's reinforced and whatnot, it's so much better. Uh, and also, this is the, since it's the original um, skate, this is a three-piece sole system. And so these, these the, the sole piece itself, uh, there's this, it, it's not like the, the newer ones where it's just one solid piece. These were interchangeable, so you get different colors, which, that's a mixed bag, uh, because, yeah, it's nice that you can change out your colors, but these things would kind of thin out and break apart, so I, I think I'm more appreciative of the, uh, the solid one piece that you get now versus this. Um, and one thing that already has me nervous um, about this particular skate is, um, I'll see if it's on the other one, but there is a massive, I because I, I, to me this is so, this is so much I gotta let you see it. There is this massive gap uh, right here between the plates and the, the piece. I'm... I'm not a fan. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's an issue that they 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 know about. But I mean, I really I am not a fan of that kind of separation. Um, and that's another reason why I like the solid piece because that leads into the next piece, the next part, which is these toe straps. This toe strap system, the old one, which I'm sure they're using the exact same parts and, and fittings and molds, is a nightmare. Um, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that the newer ones are just these little metal clasps that they have uh, 
uh, molded into the plate itself, but this is way worse. Um, and so I'm kind of bummed out about that. And it sounds like I am so, <laughs> I am just so miserable with this skate, but I genuinely wanted this skate. Um, am I ever going to actually skate it? No, no, this is more, and it just sounds so awful for me to say, this is more of a, a trophy piece because A, I've always enjoyed Latimer skating and B, um, I, I always, I, it's not that I regret ever getting rid of my original uh, shadows, but they were so destroyed. I didn't, what was I going to do with them? So I threw them away. Um, that I want something that's like the old days. Um, I'm not the biggest skate collector. I, I'm really not. Um, but... There are just like a couple of skates and frames, moreover than anything else. Maybe a couple wheels, primarily mind game wheels, um, that I just want to collect. Uh, I don't want to do anything with them. Like, I'll never skate these. Um, and this wouldn't be the first pair of shadows that I've ever, I, I've ever owned that I will never skate. Um, I have a pair of Damian Wilson uh, shadows, the first ones, don't have the foot wraps or anything, it's just the boot, but, um, I will never, ever ride that, ride that, grind that skate, anything with it. To me, that is the best skate that was ever made. Um, and I, I just, I want one out to be out there that has just never been touched. And so that's why that will forever be uh, you know, preserved as best as I can, because plastic does eventually fall apart. Um, but I see they have all the other stuff that was uh, a part and parcel of the original s Shadow Skates. Um, this, the power strap and cuff piece here all look pretty solid. Um, Got to make sure you got the USD part, so they modified that. Um, I'm sure it'll feel really good on my feet, but I'll never know because I'm never putting these on my feet. Um, but I do like the touches. I do, I do like the fact that they, you know, painstakingly tried to recreate uh, the Shadow Mook frame. Uh, so they did a good job there. Uh, they did an excellent job. Um, beefing up the foot wraps. Uh, those look great in comparison to what we got way back when. Um, you know, this, this looks like a solid skate for the most part. Um, although, again, I still have my apprehensions because even on this one, I still have the same gaps. Um, I don't think they're as pronounced Oh, uh, they might be. They might be just as pronounced on this one as well. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm never going to ride these. Um, because of my feelings towards them. I, I, like, I don't honestly believe that, um, anybody should ever really ride these in earnest um, because they're going to feel great for a little bit, but if they are like anything that the original Shadows were, um, it's going to feel flimsy real fast. Uh, like I say, you start grinding, this, these, these parts here, this, this, and this is the part that I'm really worried about if you do. Uh, now, it looks like I say, they beef them up. And that's great. They needed to be beefed up. But, you know, depending on how you skate, the problem that's going to happen is the thing that connects each of these pieces to the, the, the sole, sole plate, uh, this gets frayed, this stuff breaks away, then this is exposed, the strap is exposed, and then that gets cut apart. Um, I've seen it happen way too many times, not just me, but others, 
Um, and so I have that concern. Like I say, back when these things were first introduced, yes, great skates, uh, wonderful. But, um, you know, you work with what you had. And so because this is what we knew, yes, fine. We'll get replacement parts. And those replacement parts are readily available. I don't know how much... Um, Power Slide is going to continue to, you know, create parts for these skates because I know for me, getting replacement parts for Shadows are relatively difficult. Um, I've had to just order base plates from Europe. Like, I can't find them here in the United States, so... Um, I, I don't want to ride another pair of skates that are going to be, like, a nightmare to find parts for, especially an older model of said skates. You know, it's bad enough that I ride Kaiser suspension frames, and those have been discontinued for nearly 15 years, and I still, you know, manage to find some and ride them. Uh, I don't even want to think about the hassle I would have just to get these things replaced. Now, I have parts that would, you know, work with all of this, but I really don't want to know what that hassle would be. Um, because, again... Great, sturdy skate, but um, I just don't know how they would hold up nowadays. Uh, I mean, if you skate park, it would probably be a little bit better, but I still skate street. <laughs> uh, that, you know, this is, you know, I don't know how well this would last, giving, given the way that I do. So if you were, you know, skating park with this, you'd be fine. Uh, but, you know, if you're like me and you go out and still skate street because you, you haven't learned your lesson, um, <laughs> these might not make it. Uh, so, overall, I mean, I like them. Even though it doesn't sound like I do. But, um, they, they, they are nice. It's a nice quality skate. I can see the, the, um... I can see the time and effort that they poured into it. Um, still have a couple questions in regards, especially the separation here. Not a fan. Uh, now, I do remember Roller Warehouse actually contacted me saying something about a, a part that uh, Power Slide was not happy with in the production, and they'll supposedly be sending me those parts um, soon, but it really does like I said, really doesn't matter. This is going to be a display piece more than anything uh, because uh, this is, um, you know, it's a good skate, but something I don't want to ride. Um, not because I don't like it, but because, um, you know, this is something I'd rather cherish. Uh, like, I also have the Shima... Uh, reissues from a couple years ago uh, and the only reason why I really got them was because I remember that craze I never rode those skates but I I, I, I liked watching other people skate in those skates because that was back when I first discovered USD Thrones and I never went back um, until USD decided to make UFS Thrones then I had to find another option so <laughs> you know um, and that would eventually lead me to these uh, because most of the alternatives that I went through after the Thrones just didn't work for me. Uh, and I always thought razors were kind of cheap. But, yeah, overall, I like I like the aesthetic. Um, I like that they faithfully recreated stuff. I mean, I can't imagine how much it cost in production to bring these things back. So, I am impressed. But, on the whole... Um, I love the skate, but for me, it's just a trophy piece. Um, I kind of get the feeling that's going to be for a lot of people. I would be really hard-pressed to see if anybody, and I do mean anybody, going out and actually riding these. And if you somehow find somebody who's out there riding these, and there's video of it, send it to me, because I will be in utter shock uh, that someone would actually ride these. Um, Especially if they are uh, older skaters, I would think that they would be. You know, this is more like you know, like I am. This is this is a tra this is a trophy piece. This is nothing uh, more than that. So, um, 
Overall, I like it. Just never going to ride it. Uh, Got to preserve uh, this piece of plastic or pieces of plastic. Because, uh, wow. Wow, they really... Okay, I will give them that. I just noticed that. They really did number on that lip because the old lip on the, on the old foot wraps <laughs> was not that thick. And it needed to be. So, good job on that. Um, all right, enough rambling. Uh, so, yeah. Um, keep a lookout on uh, this channel. I have some plans, and hopefully they come out soon. And I hope they, uh, I hope it exceeds expectations when it does. So, until then, party people. Toodles.